And, uh, and we helped the locals here and the council clearing a road to, to um, actually just to get through to Byfield. And it was total devastation out there, total devastation there. Someone walked nine kilometres in from the mountains because they just had no access, couldn't get in, couldn't, and there was people everywhere and all needing desperate help. And uh, I remember one old couple, uh, they were completely de-roofed, uh, were in the house when the roof went, and they still didn't have any much water leakage, and then the rain filled these ceilings up, and the ceilings come in, and just ruined all their family photos on the walls and their, you know, and it was just heartbreaking to see the poor people. With your poo probably who got the biggest whack of the whole lot um, from them devastating times. Uh, Bunnings came in and they give us plants and we planted trees and we planted those out and um, uh, we um, we um, Ended into the garden competition and we got first prize. <laughs> How resilient people can be. You, you never expect it until something like this happens and you never want anything like this to happen. But everyone just chipped in. It was really heartwarming. It's just amazing the kindness of human nature and what other people will do for others in there. So in the space of three weeks, um, in Yapoon and Rockhampton, we did over 6,000 meals, as well as with our Fill a Fridge campaign we helped out 22,000 families. I'd start here in the morning and do chainsaw and generator repairs for everyone because we had no phone service, so anyone that I seen during our travels just said, be at my place first thing. If you got something you need fixed, so we just did chainsaw generator repairs for the first part of the day and then went out and swung the saw for the rest in front of Reese with the machinery. And the it was great to see the community band together and just um, yeah, see who was real, whose heart was really here and that sort of thing. And so, yeah. Now you wonder, I keep thinking, well, what, what, where do I go from here, you know? That's the problem. And I said, oh, when you've never rented it ever in your life, and then at this age to have to start renting, and then of course, you don't know where you're going to rent next. Well, to get back to where I was, it'll probably be a 15-year project. To get the tonnage I was getting, um, so I've probably lost between a th half to third of the trees. They're totally gone, um, and the rest of them are pretty severely damaged. So it's going to take a long time to come back to any sort of production. Personally, it was it was hard to see all the people that uh, did have damage to their properties and and just didn't know what to do and. Um, yeah, it was a, a lot of devastation around the town and I felt that, you know, the only way we could do was uh, help them, and which we did. There was a lot of damage, <laughs> there was a lot of damage to the, um, to the citrus trees. We lost our entire crop for the season. Um, there was partial damage done to our house. We had a tree fall on the house. I've learned that when something really bad happens in a small community, people really do, sorry, people really do pull together and, sorry. Did a few hours, a couple of days at the start and then a few more days later on and then, yeah, so we just cleared, I suppose, um, the main thoroughfare into Byfield and right down the end for Ferns and, yeah, a few driveways along the way, basically anybody would need a bit of help. And, uh, to get out so they could get out and get supplies and you know, to rejoin the community I suppose. It was amazing how a disaster of this magnitude brings the community together. And, uh, you know, the meetings, the amount of meetings at the local shop was yeah, incredible. Yeah. And everyone had their say, which was great, and everyone banded together uh, to help others and you know, help people who couldn't help themselves, which is what the community is about. So. Just the helping hand of the community. Uh, the Shire Council, the Livingston Shire, were fantastic in helping out SES and all those sort of people there that volunteered. You know, for the weeks and weeks afterwards, we were fantastic. You know, a bunch of people. Everyone was concerned about us and our family and how we were, how we were getting along and whether we're coping. Uh, third of our roof and majority of the windows were smashed and sliding doors and stuff. So 
yeah. we painted the outside and inside. The kitchen's been redone. The kitchen was flooded. Um, three out of the four bedrooms were flooded. Uh, our main master bedroom was uh, totally destroyed. Um, it's all being replaced. Um, Tree-wise, every tree of the property was virtually down. Um, but yeah, the major damage was the, the roof structure and things like that. So we were on our own the first um, afternoon, but the next day there were people in a convoy with, uh, with chainsaws and tools, manpower, and we got uh, three quarters of the way to Byfield and we met all the people in Byfield cutting their way out. So there was this really joyous uh, reunion. And uh, we kept, we kept coming and it took us a day to get into Ferns uh, along our roads and then um, we found uh, our beautiful place uh, shattered really, just smashed, just shattered. It was, uh, this was a horror, an absolute horror story for everyone and the resilience and friendship and the community spirit that, that came out of this. If, you've ever doubted the, the capacity of, of humans to have that spirit, you sort of think, oh, the world's changing, it's getting sad. No, it's, the, that, it's embedded, it, it's implanted, it's genetic. Uh, the spirit was wonderful. Just some of those, some of those beautiful things have happened to us uh, during the cyclone. The worst of events has brought out some of the most beautiful um, experiences. The other thing is people from the community centre, we seem to be able to pick the, when somebody needs help. Um, I remember one day I was downstairs and a lady walked in and just stood me. <laughs> Sorry. And I walked up and just said, you know, what do I do? And she just broke down. <laughs> and walking in that First step into the building was the major step, and when she, she got here, it's important to show the support that is here and is at the community centre when people come in in need of help. The whole of the the, the um, area was quite resilient. They just got on with their jobs and and did everything, and uh, it was a credit to the whole. Uh, of Livingston Shire to, um, to see just the way they all work together. It pretty much caused a lot of damage to the back of this building and even split the building um, on the side basically and, and caved in the roofs and that because the, the roof that from over there was so big and heavy that when it landed it caused a lot of damage and so there was a lot of water and a lot of things that went on here and then we couldn't get power again because the building was so old. So we were actually, thanks to our landlord, um, on generator power for about three months. And so it was really hard emotionally, but on the recovery side, I want everyone out there now to know that we are back and that we're open and we're here to get the town partying again.